Hello everyone, this is Lillian and it's time for our three minutes with the word audio devotional. Today's topic is a posture of persistence and our anchor scripture is taken from the book of Luke chapter 18 verses 4 and 5. For some time he refused, but finally he said to himself, even though I don't fear God or care what people think, yet because this widow keeps bothering me, I will see that she gets justice so that she won't eventually come and attack me. Today we continue with the parable from Luke chapter 18 and I want to bring a short but very important message. In our scripture, the judge speaking to himself said, I know that I don't fear God. I know that I don't care about people, but there is something about the posture of this helpless widow that will compel me to give her what she requests. Because she keeps bothering me, because she continues pestering me, I will ensure she gets justice. Today my message to you is simple. Do not give up. I know that you have prayed and prayed about the issue and you have resigned yourself to fate. Please dust up that prayer point and pray again. Many times there is a cloud you need to fill with your prayer for the rain of the answer to fall. The judge did not change. He was still a man who neither feared God nor cared about people. But the posture the woman woman took compelled him to release her judgment. If you will get judgment in the court of heaven, you must be ready to stand your ground. In court cases in the natural, sometimes, even after you have won your case, you may need to return to the court to apply for an order to enforce the judgment you have received. Many times, without that enforcement order, you may have judgment, but your judgment will never see the light of day. A lot of people stop praying instead of pressing on for the enforcement of their judgment. Today, my message to someone is simple. Renege on that your commitment to give up on that long-standing prayer point and pray again. Your cloud is about to be full. Keep pushing. Hear what Jesus says in verse 7. And shall not God avenge his own elect, which cry day and night unto him, though he bear long with them? It may have taken you some time, but pray again. Change your posture to one who will not take no for an answer. Back to the parable. What guaranteed the woman's answer? Simple. It was her posture. Not even the judge. The the judge himself acknowledged that it was her persistence that compelled him to give her judgment. What is your posture? Do you pray and give up after a short while? Push. Pray. Don't give up. God will cause the judgment you have to be enforced. Let us pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, thank you so much for your word. Lord, we bring every long-standing issue that has defied solution before you again in faith this morning. Please, by your blood, let judgment be enforced against every situation that oppresses and confounds us. Continue to take all the glory, almighty God. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Speak to you again soon. If you are blessed, please drop me a line on audiodevotional at yahoo.com. Or on our website at www.3minutesaudiodevotional.com. You could also follow us on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube and Twitter at 3 Minutes Audio Devotional. Remember, wrapped up in God's word is all you need for your change to come. Love you and bye.